Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm going to be bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the top five running backs heading into the NFL for next season. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time I have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Now, there was a little controversy when I released some of these things online earlier today. Um, and a lot of people were up in arms about exactly just my list because I posted it before I actually made the video. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, uh, you know, Christian McCaffrey doesn't make my list for this one. Um, as of right now, until Christian McCaffrey can play a healthy season, he has a lot of potential, but what we're looking at is guys that are actually going to play, uh, and finish the season for the most part. It gives you a lot. The last couple of years since getting that big contract, he has yet to really put it out there on the table. And you know, it's controversial, but you know, the best potential is actually being on the field. Um, so I'm gonna start at number five. Uh, it's a guy that may miss a couple, of, may miss a couple of games due to suspension. Um, but Alvin Kamara, out of all the running backs on this list, this is probably the most dynamic runner on this list. His frame is not the biggest, but his style he runs big. When you're looking at in between the tackles, outside the tackles, being able to catch the ball, being able to block, he's a full running back. When you look at just what he does for that Saints offense and how he's able to essentially score touchdowns quickly, how he's able to pick up yardage, how he's able to get the ball in between tackles and really deliver for the home run punch, he is the Saints' top running option. When you're looking at just where this Saints team is going, without Drew Brees, they've struggled mightily on offense since he's retired. He's been the bright spot on offense for them. No wide receiver has stepped up since Drew Brees has left. It's been the defense in different phases. And Alvin Kamara running the football. That's been the saving grace on there. You do have Jameis Winston popping his head up here and there. But with the injuries and, and everything surrounding uh, the Saints, Alvin Kamara has been the lone bright spot for them. When you look at him being suspended, he could very well end up being suspended this year. I don't think he's going to be suspended for the full year, maybe four games or so. But I think he's still going to be in the conversation as one of the best running backs in the NFL. Uh, when you're looking at just his production, High volume guy. He can catch the ball multiple times. He can run the ball multiple times and he gets stronger as the game goes on. Moving into number four, you're looking at Dalvin Cook of the Vikings. Even though he has a a, a a laundry list of injury history for himself, he still has helped the Minnesota Vikings be one of the best teams in the NFL year in and year out. When you look at last year, they had a down year. But I think with the additions that they've made on the offensive line through the draft, Dalvin Cook is dynamic. And you're looking at just what he can do. If he can take the ball out of Kirk Cousins' hands and get a few more touches a game, I think that can spin the tide on the Minnesota Vikings. When you look at the Packers now, the Packers are not the same team without Devontae Adams. You look at the Bears, they're not really going to be in the contention. And you also look at the Lions, they're not really going to be in contention, I don't feel. This is a perfect year for the Minnesota Vikings to sneak in there and really make the playoffs or either steal a playoff seed from somebody. I think that Dalvin Cook has enough explosion. He is a dynamic runner as well, one of the fastest running backs in the NFL. And he brings his lunch pail when he does play in the NFL every single game. So I think he's right there where he's supposed to be at number four. Coming in at number three, he did suffer a couple of injuries last year. He has been up and down as far as nicks and dings, but Nick Chubb, the most consistent running back for the Browns over the last couple of years. You look at that one-two punch that they had a couple of years ago with Kareem Hunt and himself. He has now taken over as the number one guy last couple of years, and he's really blown away the competition as far as defenses go. When he has the ball, there's a high high chance he's going to hit his head on the goalpost. He's a bigger back. He is speedy, shifty, and he can not only block, but he can carry the load as well. You can look at him. You can get a ball 20 to 25 times a game, and he's going to make that Browns offense better. They no longer have Baker Mayfield in Cleveland. You should see him expect the carries to go up a little bit more. Um, it's tough because Nick Chubb, when he's in the lineup, this team looks like a whole different offense. The Browns offense runs differently. And he's a hell of a reason why they're where they are year in and year out. Coming in number two, this was tough for me because the kid is sensational. When you look at what he's been able to do in Indianapolis and how he's able to lift that offense, even though they didn't make the playoffs last year, you look at what they were able to do on the ground. He was a hell of an MVP candidate on the ground, catching the ball. Um, and that's Jonathan Taylor. Every single time he touches the ball, you think he's about to score. 
He extends plays. He gets the extra yards. He doesn't go out of bounds. He puts his shoulder down and takes punishment and gives punishment as well. He's one of those guys that's going to play harder as the game goes on. He gives the Colts a chance every single time he rushes 400 yards. Um, this guy is really outstanding. His game and how he's translated that game from Stanford to Indianapolis Colts. His line pickup with the blitz. His ability to catch out the backfield. It's second to none. Um, that's why he's number two on this list. And then you got number one, of course, the king of the NFL as far as running, Derrick Henry. Who the hell is stopping him? He's big as hell. He's a bust, running, full speed. And if you get him full speed, good luck getting him down. That stiff arm is one of the nastiest stiff arms we've seen in the NFL. He will be the reason the Tennessee Titans make the playoffs this year. When you're looking at just how they lost A.J. Brown, they're going to lean heavily on Derrick Henry. And I think he's he's healed from his surgery. And I think he's had a good offseason as far as recovery. Derrick Henry is going to come back with a vengeance. Um, I think that he missed a lot of time last year, but he did come back to show what he can still do. And you're looking at Derrick Henry being one of the most physical specimens, biggest running backs that we've seen in the history. And he's going to make sure this Titans team's on his back as they rush towards the playoffs. So uh, for the NFL season next year, you got your top five running backs. Let me know what you feel in the comment section. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns and all the updates. And as always, we thank you so very much. We'll see you on the next video.